Hi everybody, we have got another beer today, strange enough since it's a beer review. Yes, right, well, slightly concerned about this one, not yet, well, put it this way, with these small breweries, <laughs> as you see from my two outtakes, um, the dates on their beer, the celebrate dates, don't necessarily add up, um, because they've had long dates, yet they've, uh, these small independent breweries have been sort of, excuse me, scratch my belly button, skew, they've been um, off. Um, now I was going to do one tonight, um, which I've had before, because I've got two bottles, similarly with this I've had it before as well, um, it was called, uh, it was Bear Town Brewery, it's a North Norfolk one, um, called Santa's Claws, it was a Christmas one, like a robust malt, yeah, it was quite nice, this similarly is a Norfolk one, uh, that was off, I could see there was loads of floaters in it, and you know when his beer's got sediment in it, that's fair enough, but I just thought, mm. I opened it and smelled it and had a taste, and sure enough it was off. So thankfully I caught that one and nipped it in the bud early. But this one looks alright, I mean it's got a sell by date, as did the other one, of November this year. So it's a fair way to go yet, we're only in April, well, nearly May. Nearly May. Um, but still, it was off. So hopefully this one ain't going to be, um, we shall see. Anyway, it, it's uh, by the Buxton Brewery, like I say, is, uh, is Norfolk. Um, no, no, sorry, beg your pardon. This one isn't Norfolk. Um, I'm not quite sure where Buxton is, it says Buxton Brewery Co. But uh, yeah, it's um, a porter. It's called Dark Nights US style winter porter. So it's American. It's bottle conditioned as well, so try and keep that sediment in there. And uh, yeah, it's a really dark tasting porter. In fact, it tastes heavier than the ABV. The ABV is only 4.6%. So it's all right, but yeah, we'll uh, crack it open and give it a go. Uh, so serving temperature is about 12 degrees, something like that, which I think this is about about that. It's been in the fridge for about an hour. I've had it out a little while. It's just cool. You feel the cool on the bottle. That was only a bit of a fizz, wasn't it? <laughs> That's not a good sign. I've got no backup plan tonight. If this is off, it's off. Um, I'm officially out of beer. <laughs> Are you? Uh, well, yeah, I've got those two um, strong ones, which I'm not going to do during the week on a school night. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah. Oh. Yeah. Right. I'm just going to pour it out and get on with it. Oh, I've still got a bit of a head. That's, that's a good sign. That'd be fair. It looks all right. Washing in the box, I don't want any sediment. That looks very nice. That's alright. Dark Nights Winter Port, a little bit of natural carbonation on the side of the glass there. It's it's not pitch black, but it's pretty dark. As you can see, it's got a creamy, sort of one and a half finger off white head. Fairly tight and creamy looking. Um, it's more of a floater on the topper, as opposed to a laser. It's not really lacing that much. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a bit of a ruby-hued beer, but it's dark for the most part. You can, can't really see through it, but you can see ruby-ish hues around the side, so it's not pitch black. Um, yeah, that's about it for the look. A bit murky, which is all right. But yeah, that head does look really creamy. You can get a close-up of that one there. It's like... You see that all right? Yeah, so it looks good. So far, so good. So if this is off, I'll be very surprised. Um, um, there's a bit of a sweet smell coming through, but I can't smell much at the minute through that head. I'm going to have to smell it as we go along. Cause, but I wasn't going to go half and half, because bottle condition, I'll get a, on the second pour, I'll get a glass full of floaters. So. Yep, a bit dark, a bit um, like a dark fruity cola sort of smell like you can get with porters. Did you hear that noise then? That was a crack. That was my wife kneeling and she's just cracked a knee. That was a bone. Sorry. The old woman. <laughs> Felt that. Anyway, cheers folks. Let's dig in. It's not off. It's good. Quiet tastes dark. There's a lot of bite to this. If you like um, the porters, pretty dry and this is the one for you it's um, first first taste it's hard to get past the intense 
coppery bitterness in part due to the hops but then you get the, uh, the really roasted malt and burnt malt sort of in fact it doesn't even taste very malty at this stage or it tastes burnt which given the colour of it it's not pitch black it may look on camera but no, there's definitely ruby hues to it it's not pitch black like Guinness it's not as dark as Guinness but still it tastes a lot darker than it looks uh, it's a very good beer let's have another one see if we can get some more Fairly creamy body, especially with that head. Um, it's medium to heavy bodied. Um, for 4.6%, it's it's fairly thick. You get um, a bit more of a malt coming through there. It's like a rich, boozy fruit cake sort of taste. It's not got your typical dark fruit taste like from a trappist or something like that but it's just burnt and oh uh, go on then she's gone to get a smell boy smell boy is the new name for the dog eddie um no particular reason just that it's funny um oh no yeah there is a reason he smells a little bit when he needs a bath um and he occasionally lets off rather foul smelling trumps which doggies do. Come on, under the tripod. There you go. Say hello to everybody, Eddie. <laughs> I think you've briefly met Eddie before. But, uh, yeah. Say hello to everybody. Eddie. Say hello to everybody. <laughs> Say. Come here. No, let the beer off. Be careful. Nice, he's going to go a little bit mad. <laughs> if you can see him in the shot, that's Eddie. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Cheers, Eddie. <laughs> Dunk. <laughs> Try to leave my. How long have I got left? He ain't, he ain't stealing the limelight, that's for sure. Yeah. Hey? Two, two and a half minutes, Eddie. So behave for two and a half minutes, right? <laughs> anyway, I better not play them too much, or you won't leave me alone. Yeah, rich, almost like a fruit cakey smell. That's uh, smell, taste. Yeah, more of that just dark smell. Bless you. Uh, that's so cute. What do you think, Eddie? Yes? No? Smell that. Poor. <laughs> Not half. You know, licking his lips. He ain't having any. Don't worry, I will not give my dog pee. Um, he's off again now. Um, yeah, so it's like a really rich, rich, uh, that's all I can say, it's a rich dark taste. It's burnt and it's dry. There's not much astringency to it. Um, there's a little bit of sweetness when you first put it in. That'll soon fade and you get a nice dry all this quenching finish for a porter. Porters aren't usually quenching, but this is fairly quenching. Um, yeah. It's robust. It's a sipping one. You don't want to drink it too quickly. Um, but the head's sticking around, it's lacing. So, yeah, you can see that is a very good porter. Um, like I say, they're not, it's not thick and sweet like you get a lot of porters. It's just dry. Dry and dark. And if you like that side of a porter, then grab yourself one of these because they're rather good. Um, yeah, so it says US style winter porter, so I don't know if that's the way the Americans have them, just dry. Um, in fact, excuse me, sorry, this, how, how long have I got for you? A minute. A minute, I'll just quickly read you the description actually. Um, I didn't realise it was such a vivid description. This beer pours a deep chestnut brown with a billowing cappuccino head. Mm, I'll give it that. It has aromas of forest fruits, and get that, and a biscuity malty body, which it kind of does. Generously hopped with US varieties, it leads to a lingering bit of finish. So yeah, it is. Largely due to the hops, like I said before, um, that bitterness. But then also you get the dark, dark roasted taste, which just adds to it, which makes it all the drier. Yeah, so fantastic. Well, not much more to say about that, folks. It's a good one. Have a good night. I shall see you soon.